the story of Werner von Braun, you know, and the fascination with rockets, and this will, you know, enlarge something in the world. And here he is, he's an SS officer, he's working around slave labor. Uh, and then, but his rocket then gets compressed into the, the Western world or the, the American world and basically launches us to the moon and we forget about the sausage, how the sausage was made uh, originally. Well, can you talk about him a little bit more? Because he's such a fascinating uh, character. Because he, so he's a, he was a Nazi, but he was also an American, and it had such a grand impact on on both. And like, is this, there's this uncomfortable fact that he's, you know, <laughs> one of the central figures that gave birth to the American space exploration efforts. Yeah, he's an interesting figure, fascinated in a kind of a tunnel vision way with. Space flight. He makes these beautiful rockets already beginning in the 20s, early 30s. Ends up for a while at Penamunda using slave labor to build uh, V2 engines and, and so forth like that. And I, I remember going to Penamunda where people have actually tracked the flights of aborted V2 rockets and found some of these beautiful, beautiful old engines just the most like works of art these 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 engines used to rain terror uh, on on the british it's interesting because in that same spot uh, i was hunting for amber baltic amber because I'm, i'm a stone collector and among the amber collectors there there's a famous story of the the penamon to burn it's called because they find yellow phosphorus they think is amber They put it in their pocket and then it dries out and then explodes and creates this big burn uh, burn on their legs. But the whole Nazi regime is, is full of things like that, is full of these scholars who get twisted into a mindset. And uh, it's also important to realize that people didn't often see what was coming. Mm-hmm. And we look back and We say, how could you X, Y, or Z? But before the Holocaust, there's not the Holocaust. Uh, there are versions of it, but things get on a new meaning, gain a new meaning in light of subsequent events. And there's a, an entire propaganda machine that makes it easier for you to, to, to hold the narrative in your head. Even if you kind of intuitively know there's something really wrong here, because of the propaganda, you can kind of convince yourself to be able to sleep at night. 